So you might be asking yourself, well, don't you already have an apron? And you'd be correct, yes, I have an apron. In fact, this one's sentimental to me because my, my kids bought it for me for a birthday of mine. Um, but unfortunately, it's one of those off-the-shelf uh, aprons that doesn't have all the features that I need for when I'm doing uh, the projects that I do. Uh, when I'm woodworking, I'd like to have a little uh, pouch for a little hand plane. Um, I'd also have like a little spot that I can slide my square into. Uh, I'd like to have a better place to hold my tape measure uh, as this little fabric ring just doesn't doesn't do it for me. Um, I'd like to have a spot for my lapel mic as well. Maybe a little pouch up here that I can slide my lapel mic into. Uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of little features, maybe make this one actually a little bit longer as well. So there's a bunch of little features that aren't on this one that I'd like to put onto the new one. And so I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, why don't we jump into it? So I'm gonna uh, actually use this old apron as a template. Because like I said, I really actually like the shape and design of this apron, um, but I, I do want to make it a couple inches longer. So I'll use this as a template and then uh, we'll cut it out just a little bit bigger or longer at the bottom. Um, originally, uh, I had made this uh, towel holder ring clip um, to look like this, uh, but I've decided I'm gonna I'm gonna change it around. Uh, I came up with an idea because I live in California. I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna make the state of California, and I live right here, so I'm gonna have this circle spot where I live, and I'll put the rivet basically on my hometown and it'll sit here on the pocket and it's gonna look sweet.
Well guys, I gotta say, I'm absolutely stoked on how this thing came out uh, for my first leather project. Uh, I absolutely couldn't be happier. Uh, it has all the features that I wanted in it. And just to go over some of those features that we had talked about, um, I wanted something for my lapel mic uh, that I could take on and off. And uh, so I've got this little magnetic pouch that I can slap on right here. Um, it's got a pouch across the chest that can carry my cell phone, um, a couple of pencils and pens, and maybe a little, a little square. Uh, across the torso, we had talked about I wanted a magnetic strip so when I'm using certain tooling that I can just slap it on there and not lose it every five seconds that I'm when I'm doing some metal work. And uh, so I think that'll be an added benefit. And also, uh, it happens to um, hold the remote for my dust collector system, so I was kind of happy to see that. Uh, this cool little ring down here with the California feature, the ring holds a uh, towel. And then, of course, the rivet right where uh, my hometown is here in Templeton, California, right where my shop is. On this side, I've got a, uh, a pouch for my uh, hand plane. When I'm doing woodworking, I'm constantly using that thing and it's nice to have it on me now. But I can also uh, take it off when I don't need it. It's just got a couple of snap buttons on it. Um, oh, and then last but not least, uh, on this side, I've got my tape measure and the clip for that. And if you remember from the old one, it had a fabric ring and it was impossible to get a uh, tape measure to actually clip onto there. So this one's uh, really easy on and off and uh, yeah, I couldn't be happier. And one last added benefit, uh, I can tell in the monitor here, uh, I don't know if you see that, but uh, when I'm wearing this thing, it looks like I'm not wearing any pants. So. What more could you ask for? <laughs> so anyway, thank you for uh, being here. Thank you for subscribing, hitting those buttons. And as always, <sighs> Shaloha.